everyone, my name is Grace and I'm here to teach you how to play Sadie by Joanna Newsom. This is somewhat of an intermediate guitar song, it's not particularly easy. The way that I made this part was by looking at the Joanna Newsom transcription project piano part and also some chord charts I found online and kind of synthesizing them together into this. So what I found was that the easiest way to play this is to put the capo on the second fret because this song is in B major but B major is a lot harder to play in than A major on guitar. So that's our first step. And then I'm gonna teach you some of the chords. A lot of the chords in this are pretty basic chords that you might already know, but then some of the chords are kind of interesting like sus chords and stuff. So we'll start off with the easy ones. We have A, D, E, Also E7, F sharp minor, the bar. You can do a partial one like this. And then some of the sus chords. We have an E sus chord, which looks like the A shape, but a different placement. Also the D sus chord, also looks like the A shape, different placement. We have the A sus chord, which is just that one finger. We have an F sharp sus, this one. And then we have this B sus, which I don't think is really a B sus, but is enough of the same notes that it sounds good. So then we have this one, which is written in the piano part as C sharp sus, and that's just like the E sus shape barred up one. So then there's kind of like four parts in this song. So let's start with the A part. That's like the beginning part, like Sadie, I come you And then start over that chord progression. So that chord progression is the E sus chord. And you're gonna pick the bass note and then the next three. So that's the picking pattern for that. E sus, the F sharp, D, back to F sharp, A sus, the C sharp, E7, D sus. And then repeat the entire section. So now we'll start the B section. We have E sus, B sus, D sus, A sus, A, D sus, F sharp minor. And I just hold that twice. Um, it said in the transcription that it was another chord change there, but I thought it sounded good to hold that. So I don't remember what the other chord was supposed to be. I remember I couldn't really find a good voicing on guitar that I liked, so I just decided to hang out on the F sharp minor at the end there. So that's the entire B section. It goes like... So that was just repeating the whole progression twice. And then we get into the part with the kind of easier chords. And all day long we talk about mercy. Just gonna have this whole section's just like the triad chords all of a sudden instead of the sus chords. But the fancy thing about this is that, of course on the harp she's doing all this like picking and stuff. So you can kind of copy that on guitar. 
Um, I think what's important there is the rhythm and also kind of trying to follow when she goes high and low. So like when she picks the bass notes versus plays some higher notes, right? So what I like to do is land on that playing all the notes at once with what I call a pull away. So that's like plucking all the strings at once. So yeah, the strings I'm playing here, if you want to know, are five, four, three, four, five, two. As long as it has that syncopated feel, it'll probably sound right. And have that bass and then high notes, bass and then high notes is a very characteristic thing of this song when you're doing that section. So like all day long we talk about mercy. part starts on D major chord, coincidentally. So that goes D, E, F sharp minor, F sharp minor, A, D, So that's basically the same thing here, the F sharp minor thing, pull away those three low strings, landing on A. So when it goes, and it burns irrevocably. So that's gonna be these four highest strings, four, three, and then two. Six, five, and then four and three, and then we're gonna land on the A. And I made up that little thing, which isn't exactly what she's doing at all, but it kind of mimics it. So that part is five, four, three, four, five, two, three, and then five, four, five, three, four, five. Kind of creating this upward motion but still accentuating the bass over and over again um yeah that's most of the song so let me just kind of reiterate that section in case that wasn't clear and all that we built and all that we Line. We spoke up in turns till the silence crept over me. Which is that same little A figure. You go back to the A section and bless you. And then that's all the same an entire time through everything that I just showed you. So it's the A section, B, C, D, all in a row like that with, of course, new lyrics. And then when you get to the third A section and the melee worms in them, um, that one is twice as long. So you're just gonna repeat that chord progression four times instead of twice. And then you go right to the D. Bless us who have chosen so and all that I've got and all that I need I tie in a knot and I lay at your feet and I have not forgot but the silence crept over me and 
and that's the whole thing. So I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have another way you like to play this on guitar because this is of course very different from the original. So it's kind of a fun little project to make your own part. Um, I'd love to know how you guys play it. Also, yeah, let me know if you make any covers of this or other Joanna Newsome songs. Um, also let me know in the comments any songs you might want me to do tutorials on in the future. Thanks so much for watching. It was great to have you here and I'll see you next time. Bye.